Hey everybody, Mr. Barry here, uh, coming at you uh, with probably the last uh, Nearpod and last videos here for our second unit of Algebra 2 class. We've been talking about analyzing quadratics. Um, so we've had three different ways, three different forms for quadratics to appear. Um, and understanding how to graph them as well as do some applications about those problems. Um, and I want to take a moment here prior to wrapping up the unit um, to kind of discuss how they interact with one another. Um, and really stress to you uh, how it is and when it is that we want to use them the most. So I'm starting off right here. I have this one picture and I have three different functions over there, but they're not actually three different functions. They're the same exact thing. They're just written differently. Uh, we can see over there in the red, we have that function in standard form. In purple, we have our intercept form. And in green, we have the vertex form. Again, those three things represent the same exact thing. So if I multiply the purple out, it would give me red. And if I multiply the green out, it would give me red. So no matter what, uh, we have the same exact thing over there. Hopefully what we can do is take a look at the picture and understand uh, these different forms of a quadratic function, uh, what it is that it gives us straight up front uh, without too much thinking, without too much math work, and why we want to do something um, from the get-go. So let me start off with the standard form function, y is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. Um, and we should at this point understand that if I have standard form of a quadratic that it very, very, very easily gives us the y-intercept. So I have the y-intercept over here. That would be the spot 0, comma 9. And that's my y-intercept for this function. So when it comes to standard form, we don't have to think too much about it, right? If I plug 0 in for x, that becomes 0, that becomes 0, that's the number 9. That constant in the back end of our standard form would give us the y-intercept. So I'll abbreviate over here. SF would be standard form. Uh, very, very easy for us to see that just by looking at the function. Secondly, let me talk about what we have here in intercept form. y is equal to 3 times quantity x minus 1 times quantity x minus 3. And as it says within the problem, or excuse me, within the, uh, the name of the function, it is very, very easy for us to understand what the intercepts are. And we're talking about x-intercepts here. Um, so I have x minus 1, x minus 3 inside the parentheses. There's 1 comma 0. There's 3 comma 0. And that gives us our x-intercept. Now we might not necessarily always be given two of them, but we've seen that a lot, especially when it's in intercept form. Um, so again, in intercept form, it's very simple for us to see the x-intercepts. Very easy for us to get the x-intercepts there. Um, so we know we could get a bunch of different things from this. Like I could find the middle of those two x-intercepts and figure out the axis of symmetry, plug in different numbers. But I use the intercept form to get the x-intercepts very simply. Finally, let me talk about the green one here. I got y is equal to 3 times quantity x minus 2 squared minus 3. And that's vertex form for us. And hopefully we can take a look at this right here and understand how we have a vertex at the point 2 comma negative 3. 2 comma negative 3 is our vertex. So it's pretty straightforward here, but we know that our vertex form will give us the vertex. Now we understand that with getting the vertex, we're also given the axis of symmetry. We actually find the axis of symmetry first um, from that. So hopefully with this being out like this, you can see that even though these three functions over here appear di a different, um, they're the same exact thing and they give us a host of different information straight up front. 
we could find the vertex, the x-intercepts, the y-intercepts with all of these uh, functions right here, but if it makes life easier, let's make sure that we're using the three different functions um, to give us um, information a little bit more quicker.